you were to walk into any home in Spain, Italy, or Portugal, you probably see one of these mocha pots sitting on the stove. It's called the Stovetop Espresso Maker. It's fairly easy to use, but it's also easy to make a bitter tasting cup of coffee if you don't follow the right steps and make the right precautions. Um, so we're gonna get into that a little bit right now. First off is the grind size. You wanna make sure that it's a uh, medium fine grind consistency. Um, after testing it out for yourself, you might have to adjust that that grind size but that's that's the baseline medium fine um, the other thing is you want to make sure you clean it before or before you use it um, there are a couple components in there that you should take out that people don't usually take out uh, mainly the seal here at the bottom you can use a butter knife and remove the seal and make sure you, you clean that out um, and that should help to improve the taste of your coffee Another consideration is to make sure that you preheat your water before adding it to the, the bottom here. What that does is that'll prevent the coffee from cooking in the basket while you're heating up the water. All right, so let's get into making a cup of coffee in the mocha pot. Okay, so for the grinds, right here I have my handheld coffee grinder one it's number one here is the fine so I'm going to move it up to two for medium fine it's about the consistency that you want so next we're gonna fill up the bottom portion. It's right below this, uh, this mark here. Now we'll add the coffee beans, coffee grinds. So we're just gonna fill this up to the top. that. Next we'll put the top on. Now remember the bottom is going to be hot. So just use a towel. Okay, now it's ready for the stove. You can see the coffee's beginning to come out of the the top there. If it's too hot, what's gonna happen is it's gonna start to spew. So that's not what we want. We want it to come out at a nice controlled rate like it is right now. And then once it gets uh, towards the top, it's gonna start to spew because it's, um, it's running out of water. So then you wanna remove it from the, from the stove and add a cold towel or run it under some water to stop the extraction process. But that's how you know it's done. Looks like it's gonna start spewing. So now I'm gonna take it off the stove, throw this cold towel on it here, to stop the process, the extraction process. Okay, let's try it out. It's pretty good, slightly on the bitter side, so what I wanna do next time is maybe not uh, make my grinds so fine. I'll make them a little bit more coarse, um, and if there's an issue there, maybe I uh, could adjust the brew time to remove the mocha pot from the fire. Um, sooner than I did this last time. Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you how to break down and clean the mocha pot. First, remove the bottom. Make sure it's cooled off all the way. Clean out this basket here. Clean out the bottom portion. 
also inside. And this is a part that most people don't clean. It's this gasket right here. So to get that out, just use a knife and pry the gasket out. And then you can you can clean in there. This portion also comes out. So clean clean this off. Clean the gasket. Dry it. And then you're good to go. Well, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions on anything I talked about today, just leave them down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Hey, hey, I'm glad you've been watching these Alliance videos. Woo, good job. Hey, do yourself a favor. Treat yourself to a little treat and come join us. Join us at the Alliance. We would love to have you. See you soon.